Welcome back to Aeons and Legacy. We're doing Chapter 6, Strength of Mind. And oh dear, we're in a bit of trouble. We gotta see if we can pull it out of the fire. We got the uh, Nemesis Death Mine down to 54 health. Grave Holds at 17. And Death Maiden's at 5 health. Astria's at 7. So everyone's getting kind of beaten up, but we've gotta come out on top. And we have absolutely no links between any of our <laughs> spells now and gems and relics. And that is bad. And up first is Death Maiden. All right, over we go to Death Maiden. Have her take the first turn of this round. Oh, this is agonizing. Okay, uh, we've got four Pulse Tokens. We have two Breach Communions sitting here. The Bug Zapper. The first thing we're going to do, you have to cast your spells first uh, if you want to. So the first thing we're going to do is cast off one of the Breach Communions uh, with two Pulse Tokens discarded. And that's going to end up doing three additional damage. So this is going to be a total of five damage. And we're going to do the five damage right to death mind. So that's going to be 40, 54, uh, 49. So he's got 49 health. And my battery is dying. So i got to think about what to do with the other two. If we're going to cast them or not. Okay, we are going to fire off Bug Zapper. Which is deal one damage. If this damage is a minion, deal an additional damage. Well, she's going to be hitting the Spine Thresher. And we're hitting the shield, so it doesn't actually deal one damage. So we're not damaging the minion, deal an additional damage. So we're just going to take the last shield off and gain a charge. We're at full charges, but we're, like, we're not going to gain a charge because we can't. So we take the final shield off of this guy. So now he's sitting here with one health only. Ah, but he might trigger. Now we can cast this off for two damage and get rid of the Spine Thresher. But I think we're going to not do that. All right, that's all we're going to do for casting spells. Now we're going to use the Neural Wreath, which is focus any player's breach. Any player preps a spell in hand. She's going to focus her breach four one time. And Astria is going to go ahead and uh, prep a spell she has in hand. Okay, well that was silly because Astria, I just looked, does not have any spells in hand. But we do, but we can prep them anyway. So we'll go ahead and put Breach Communion here, prepping that. Uh, well, so that's kind of wasted, but we did get to focus our... Um, Focus four. We've got three crystals remaining. And I think with the three crystals, we are going to go ahead and get the only thing we can, <laughs> which is the Soothing Torporine for three. And this doesn't cause any damage because it is the first card. Now here's what we've got. Two charges left. And we are in the main phase, and it says uh, resolve a wild prepped effect while we're in the main phase, which is right now. And this is when prepped, while prepped once per turn during your main phase, you may gain a pulse token. She's got two of these. She's going to gain two pulse tokens, one for each prepped spell. She now has four pulse tokens. <sighs> and with the four pulse tokens, she's going to spend all four pulse tokens, and she is going to uh, get a link back into our spell group, gem, and relic group. So that we at least have one. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we're going to put one link back. Because remember, if we have no links and sever link triggers, Gravehold's going to get 20 damage. It only has 17 health. It'll lose the game instantly. So we had to spend those four pulse tokens to do this. You can also spend five ether to get a link going. Alright, let's go finish off Death Maiden's turn. All right, and to finish off Death Maiden's turn, she's just going to put her cards back in any order. I guess she'll put them back this way and get five new. One, two, three, four, and five. Crystal will take relay. Yes, all right. Four crystals that she can buy a spell with and will take relay will be her next hand. All right, back to turn order. Oh, this is getting brutal. All right, what do we have for turn order? The oh, Nabasis. All right, well, yeah, one of the tokens comes off of Severlink, and this guy who's still kicking 
gets to kick us one more time. Persistent, unleash! Oh, that takes a token or power token off of our sever link. Any player suffers a damage evolve. You know what? We are going to have Death Maiden suffer the damage to four because when she triggers off all of her charges, uh, if she has four or less life, she gains two life. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But this guy's got to evolve. This is the last time he's evolving. Not a good thing. Okay, this guy is evolved fully, and he goes back, but he has no shields left. <laughs> we still have one more card for the nemesis, Deathmind, and what in the heck is this thing? Cortex Jailer. Immediately, this minion gains one shield token for each bridge token in play. Well, that would be just one. Persistent player with the lowest life suffers two damage. No! Four health, eh? So it gets one shield. Oh, man. Okay, well, one shield's better than a whole pile of them. But we still have to hit it basically twice. Oh, dear. Well, that's the nemesis going. Let's hope he does not go again right now. And it's Death Maiden. <sighs> oh, this is... No, that's not the turn order we wanted. That is not the turn order we wanted. All right, over to Death Maiden to go again. Where the heck's Astria? Okay, um, we have no charge tokens for these. Uh, oh, that's so frustrating. I think we are going to fire off just one of these, though. Uh, deal two damage. You may lose two pulse tokens. Well, we don't have any. So we can deal two damage, and we're going to fire that off, which seems like a grand waste, but that nemesis goes again, so we're going to deal two damage to this. And we're just going to wipe this guy right out, because he only has one health. So away it goes. We don't want it evolving. We don't want it unleashing. We don't want it doing anything else again. <laughs> ah! Oh dear me. All right. Um, and then we will leave this one here. Okay. So Death Mane's going to play her cards. She has the Voltaic Relay. Any player gains three pulse tokens. Uh, and you know what? We're going to... Oh, this is so painful. So painful. We're going to have Astria gain the three pulse tokens, and then she might be able to get rid of uh, a card in hand. So she's going to get three pulse tokens, and then they can lose a pulse token to destroy a card in hand. Let's go over to Astria and have her do that. Okay, so now we have one, two, we have five pulse tokens now for Astria, and she can destroy a card in hand. Two, three, four. She's going to go ahead and get rid of, she's going to spend one of her five pulse tokens, and she's going to get rid of one of her cracked uh, gems, crystals. Oh, all right. And she's got four pulse tokens now, which is good because that we can use to make another link over in our Play area. All right, back to Death Maiden. And yes, I kind of wanted the pulse tokens for Death Maiden, but we didn't do it. Oh God, did we make a mistake? Oh, this is just pain. It is just pain. Well, we can hang on to all of her charges. Um, I think we're just going to hang on to all of her charges, even though she can get too light. Oh, this is... Oh, I just didn't want her to go, but random turn order kind of messed us over. All right, she basically has one tooth. She's got four crystals, and with four crystals, she can focus breach four. I wonder if she should do that, or should she get a soothing torporine? Mm, I just... I don't know. I don't know. Or fire this off and get two charges back. Oh, boy. I gotta think about this. This is brutal. Okay, I thought about it. She's gonna take her four ether and she is gonna get a soothing torporine. That is what she's getting. So now she's got one of those and my four is squeaking. Great. Uh, so that leaves her with one left over, but we're not gonna bother with that. Oh boy. Now, yeah, we are... We are living dangerously. Okay, we're going to put the cards back like this. We're going to flip it over. One, two, three, four, five. And what does she have for next episode? A crystal. Neural Wreath, Soothing Torporeen, The Bug Zapper, and Breach Communion. 
all good stuff. We hope for next episode, if we survive, it's down to four health. I'm, we're living dangerously. All right, back to turn order. And yep, the gears in my brain are starting to squeak and smoke, and let's hope this better not be the nemesis. It's Astria. Oh, God. Oh. Well, there were three cards remaining, two Astrias and one of the Nemesis, so it's all good. Oh, man. All right, over we go to Astria. All right, this is going to work out pretty darn good. So she's going to fire... Well, she has to fire off the Spark Spell. Is she going to do that first? Yes, she's going to do that first. And the Spark Spell is going to hit... The Cortex Jailer, which has one shield on it, that blows the shield off. And as you can see, it has four health. And then she's going to fire off the two Fire Chakrams for two damage apiece, which totals four, which means this is defeated. See you later. Out of here. Oh boy, it was so good to get rid of that one, because that would have damaged Death Maiden even, even more. With her four... Pulse tokens. She's going to go ahead and spend all four of them. And we're going to put a link in back over uh, in our gem, relic, and spell area. All right, we're putting a link in. So we're going to put a link in here. Back to Breach Communion. All right, back to Astria. Play your cards from her hand now. Okay, Astria. Uh, uh, mm, see, I wanted. Uh, what to do? Do I keep this? Or not. We don't really want Death Maiden to gain three life. Or, well, she can gain three life. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, anyway, let's see. Let's see what we've got. This is timing is just so brutal. We have a soothing torpine. We have a crystal. We can buy a spell with this. Uh, yeah, but we take two damage. So we're not going to do it. We're going to go ahead with our three, and we can't open it because we need four. Uh. Oh, the pain. All right, we're going to get a Soothing Torpurine. There's still a bunch left. Remember, we have to leave one. At least leave one where it is. All right, and then we're going to put these back in any order. And we're not going to fire that off, which might be suicidal, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want Death Maiden to fire hers off first, and then Astria, if we can survive. Bending Beam, Crystal Lifebringer. And a couple of sparks, but only one, well, two, ah, oh, okay. Okay, it's all good, I hope. All right, that's the end of Astria's turn. Back we go to turn order. Oh, goodness, turn order time, and it's Astria gets to go. Again, back we go to Astria. Okay, Astria, she's got, of course, Bending Beam going in. Three, that's going to do five damage. She's got one crystal only, so two. Ah, uh, I can't really do anything with two. We get a fire shock and it would take two damage. We'll put the sparks in one and two. And then uh, gain an ether. If you have three or more open breaches, gain a life. Well, she will gain a life. She's got three open breaches. So she's going from seven health to eight. And you may place a different gem you played on top of your deck. Well, she's not going to. She's not going to. And I don't think we're going to fire this off. Because then we could get one charge back. But... It's all about the timing. So we're going to put the cards back like this. I know we're hanging on to all those charges. That's probably bad. One, two, three. She's got Crystal Crystal Soothing Torpurine. And flipping her deck over. Whoops. Ugh. Flipping her deck over. She gets two more, which obviously is a spark. The Fire Chakram. Mm. Don't know. That's the end of Astria's turn. Up last. Yeah, it's a rotten, rotten little brain dude. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's the nemesis going last. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Well, this fires off, which just means uh, death may mine severs a neural bridge. Discard a bridge token in play. If you can't, Gravehold suffers 20 damage. Well, we, and then we put the three tokens back on. Power tokens. Over we go, and we're going to get rid of one of the bridges. Which we painstakingly put two in this episode, but away goes one of them. But at least Gravehold does not suffer 20 damage, so all good. Back to the Nemesis. Okay, what is this rotten card? The Thought Quake. Oh, it's an attack. If there are three or more bridge tokens in play, there are not! 
discard a bridge token in play. Otherwise, Gravehold <laughs> suffers six damage. Oh, ooh, that hurts because that puts Gravehold down to 11. Oh my gosh, 11 health. Ouch, that is painful. And that will be the end of our episode for today. Oh goodness, this is getting tough. We only have one Neural Bridge left. Um, and things are getting a little bit desperate. But we've, 49 health. 49! <laughs> I, I don't know how we're going to do this. I guess we'll find out in future episodes whether we fail or succeed. All right, that's enough shuffling because we're going to shuffle the beginning of next episode. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Anne's End Legacy, Chapter 6, Strength of Mind. And our minds are bending, and they might be reaching the breaking point soon. But we'll find out. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation. And one quick little correction here at the end of the episode. Death Maiden had the Breach Communion uh, prepped. She should have got a Pulse Token for this. So I'm going to give her the Pulse Token, because we don't want to shortchange her. Boom! So that fixes anything. That uh, fixes up everything, I believe. So yeah, she should have got a Pulse Token, forgot about it. Alright, thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Continuation. Anzan Legacy, Chapter 6, Strength of Mind.